Lizzie Koya. I'm the creator and founder of Silky Sax, and I'm here today to do a review on this Janet Collections Natural Me Temela wig. But before we get into that, there's a few things that I have to ask you to do. If this is your first time coming, I want to say welcome. Thank you so much. Here at Silky Sax, we do wig reviews, we give hair tips, we do hair tutorials and product reviews on Mondays and Fridays, and it is free. So why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell so that you'll be notified and you won't miss a video because sometimes YouTube ain't good with these, you know, these notifications. So just go ahead and know that we drop them on Monday and Friday. Come check us out, all right? And hit that subscribe button. And if you're watching over on Facebook, we love our Facebook family. Love you guys over there on both platforms. Go ahead and give this video a like and a share. And then let's comment down below. Let me know what do you guys think of Tamala? Do you like her? Let's talk about it. So here at Silky Sacks, we know how important it is to take care of your wigs and get every last bit of use out of every strand. These wigs are not cheap. It's synthetic included. So we have put together a PDF called Five Things That You're Doing to Destroy Your Wig. It is free. I'll have the link down in the description box. Please go down there and check it out and get it. Now, for my returning subs, I love you all. I would have no one to talk about wigs and share my addiction with without you guys. So, I would like to send a shout out to one of my Silky Chicks. We do it every video and today's Silky Chick I'm shouting out is Mama Dale, y'all. If you guys don't know Mama and Picky Dale, you need to get to know Mama and Picky Dale. They do mukbangs. They're super entertaining. Mama Dale is a sweetheart. She just opened up a business, so check her out. And she's so sweet. She rocks her different units, too, and her jewelry. And she's so supportive of us here in the wig community. So shout out to Mama Dale, Picky Dale. Love you guys. The link to their channel will be down below. Go ahead and check them out and let them know that Silky Sacks sent you. Now, without further ado, you guys, let's talk about Tamala. I'm in love. I'm in love with Tamala. I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm in love with Tamala, okay? Now, you got to keep on watching to find out why I'm in love with Tamala, but I'm in love with Tamala. So, Tamala is a part of Janet Collection's Natural Me units. You guys, if you haven't got anything from this Janet Collection Natural Me you are sleeping. They, I've reviewed Iman and Iman, Iman, and Tiana. I will put the links to uh, those videos down in the description box. And they have recently just added some new units to it. This one is Tamala. Now I'm gonna say this right now. Outre is my favorite wig company. Outre, when it comes to these natural units, really set the bar with the color and the texture of Nisha. But I'm gonna tell you right now, Janet ain't playing. I'm going to tell you right now, Janet Collection ain't playing. They are coming for you, Outre. I'm just saying. They coming for you and they not playing. So let's get into this wig. <laughs> so I am rocking her in the color DR1B Golden Brown. She does come in other beautiful textured colors, you guys. This whole wig line is a yakky premium beautiful texture. And they all mimic um, a blowout kind of style, right? So... Um, she's heat friendly. She has a hand tight Swiss lake part. I like that it has the side and it's a right hand. I'm a right side girl, y'all. Also, um, see, I'm so excited. I don't even know what I'll say. <laughs> also, um, she did not have baby hairs. And that is one of the things that, you know, people are super in love with. And so I was like, cool, because I don't use the baby hairs nowhere. I mean, you can make some, but she didn't, which is shocking because now most units come with baby hair. So um, like I was saying earlier, this is her card. I love how she has these beautiful curls at the bottom. And I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, the year isn't over yet, but I'm going to tell you right now, this is probably my favorite wig I've reviewed this year. Um, if it's not, I mean, if I'm going to, I have another, um, wig from the collection I'm going to be reviewing, but this has got to be in the top three at least. Okay. She's in the top three at the very least. So without further ado, let's go ahead and you can see me unbox her, style her and find out why I love her. All right. So here is Tamala. Is it Tamala? I'm going to go ahead and go with Tamala. Here we go with struggling with the packaging. 
Okay, so here, Tamala, is um, right away, I'm loving this color. Super pretty, the darker roots. Here is the lace. It's already tinted um, brown. Um, and it is a little bit rougher than what I remember before, but got that parting space there. And the texture is, you know, true to being very yakky. And it seems to be a lot more softer than the um, Natural Me wigs I reviewed in the past. So let's get into this cap. So she has the typical two combs on the side. I like that the parting has like a curve because to me that looks a little bit more realistic than when it's a, a straight part, right? It doesn't look as wiggy in my opinion. And then she's open in the back so I like that because you know you get hot sometimes with these wigs. She has a typical comb in the back and then the adjustable straps. So let's go ahead and put Tamala on. I like you, Tamala. I knew that I was going to like you, Tamala. I did. I knew. Because I had seen some other reviews. I be trying not to watch people's reviews before I do my own. Because I want to give my true, honest opinion and not be influenced. But I knew I was going to like her. I did. And I do. Anyway, alright. So, the cap is feeling good, you guys. I'm feeling like there is room for my girls who have, you know, thicker hair, larger heads. We in there. Um, oh, the color, the layering, the curls. I'm here for it all. And um, she's super soft, like I said before. So let's go ahead and get to that 360. This is Tamala in the front. This is Tamala to the right. Tamala to the left. Let me throw her all back. I'm getting some wispies, you guys. But, you know, when you go with these lighter color wigs and they're synthetic, that's a part of the struggle. Tamala to the back. So, I am loving Tamala so far. Look, she got body. She moving. We're going to go ahead and cut this lace off style, Tamala. Going to come back and give you my pros and cons and final thoughts, you guys. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so I am back from styling Tamala. Tamala is what I like to call an easy throw on and go. And if you watch me here, you know Ikoya is a lazy wig wearer. So a throw on and go is what I live for. So let's get into it. The first thing I did is I went ahead and cut the lace off. Now, I did cut the lace pretty close. I also cut a V in the lace around the part just to help it blend in and help it look a little bit more natural. The lace is a darker brown, so if you're lighter, then you might have to go in with some powder to help um, you know, lighten it up, but I didn't have any issues with it. Um, then I went in with my oil-free wig shine. I love this spray, you guys, because it is great for synthetic textured wigs because it helps give it a little bit of shine and helps soften it up without it being heavy and weighed down since synthetic is really made of plastic fibers it doesn't really absorb a lot of things that you would put on top of it it would just sit so i love this spray i highly recommend it especially if you wear a lot of these yakky textured units so i went ahead took the spray i sprayed onto my hands so that i'm not spraying it into the unit and like getting too much of it but i take it i spray it into my hands and then i rubbed it all throughout the unit just to help it give it like a little bit of shine so it won't look so um dry and not that it looked dry or bad to begin with but just to give it a little luster right make it look a little bit pretty make it look like Ikoya just came out of the shop and got her blow out cracking so did that and then I took my fingers because I didn't want to really brush it out because I love these curls at the end you guys I love this curl and this volume so I just took my fingers and just brushed out and brushed it through now I did experience, experience excuse me some tangling and I did experience some shedding I'm assuming number one because it's synthetic and it's a color that is typical to get that but I also like I said earlier cut really close to the lace so that could be another reason why I experienced um, the shedding but I did get some shedding and some tangling but you know 
I wear a lot of synthetic color wigs, so for me, that's not really a big deal. That is to be expected with a longer synthetic colored wig. Then after um, I went through with my fingers, then it just, it wasn't looking super humpy in the crown, but that's my pet peeve. I want my wigs to lay flat. So I went ahead and went in with my Silky Sacks flat, excuse me, Silky Sacks hot comb, and I just rubbed down the top and rubbed it down so that I could really smooth out this top and really get it to lay flat and look good. It already, like I said, was laying pretty flat, but I just wanted to make sure that I'm not looking poofy in the crown. And be careful when you're putting heat on these yakky textured or natural textured units. I have seen people burn them. So just start off on a low heat. Let it heat up for a while. I rub with quick, fast strokes and not staying in too long in one area because you don't want to burn things. I've seen so many reviews with people singeing their hair. You don't want to do that. And then last but not least, I went in with my Fit Me powder to just open up the part a little bit more and define it. I think because the roots are a little darker. That's really the only con I have about this wig is the parting space, but that's not even bad, right? I mean, oh my goodness, I am loving Tamala. She is an easy throw on and go. And she reminds me of Nisha 203, but I like her, I think, even better because I like the curls and the volume. The Nisha 203 is layered and she's more straight. And in my Nisha 203, I had to go in and cut some tracks out because she was so thick. So if you like that Nisha 203 look, but maybe you were intimidated to get the actual wig because of the um, styling, because of, you know, so big and the styling, the maintenance you have doing it, this, you guys, is just as good and I would argue better only because of the maintenance. It's not as hard to do. I love Outre Nisha 203. It is my favorite wig to this day, but it does take a lot of work. This one did not. This one, I just really cut the lace off, threw it on, rubbed my fingers through, put some spray in there, maybe, you know, bumped it a little bit of top with some heat at the top and that was it. So, because of that, I think she's a winner and I love the curls. So when I take this wig off, I'm not gonna put it back into the plastic bag that it came out of. No, 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 no. She is going into my luxurious silky sack. A silky sack is a silk line bag that I designed to not only store your wigs, but to add longevity to them. The silk lining allows the hair to just glide, cutting down on the shedding, matting, and tangling that your hair would do if you put it back into the plastic that it came out of. So the link to uh, silky sacks and our website and all the products that we sell will be down in the description box please go check it out thank you so much for watching and remember better care is better wear i hope to see you again on monday <laughs>